opening up the viewer mailbag here. Many of you have written in about the same thing. It is something I think makes travel a lot easier. It's the issue of global entry. Is global entry worth the price and the hassle to get approved and get that privilege. So let's talk about what Global Entry actually is. It's a program run by the Customs and Border Patrol. It's basically expedited security. It gets you through security faster and on the way home from an international trip, it gets you back through customs here in the United States so much easier. You don't have to wait on that winding line through security there. Once you land after a long international flight, you basically go up to one of these kiosks, the green there, you scan your fingerprints. It takes a picture of your eye it prints you out a receipt and you are good to go. It's really less than a minute and you are through customs on the way home. So it is a fantastic program if you apply. A couple things to know, there's a $100 fee to apply, but this is good for five years, okay? You just have to renew every five years and it includes TSA pre-check. So pre-check alone, there's an $85 application fee. The $100 application fee for global entry includes everything you get for pre-check. So it includes uh, the privilege of of walking through, not having to take your shoes off, not having to take your liquids out and everything. So global entry is the way to go rather than TSA pre-check if it fits you. So it's a hundred bucks, but if you have one of a few different credit cards, they'll give it to you for free. They'll give you a hundred dollar credit. Among those credit cards, the Chase Sapphire, the BOA Premium Rewards, United Explorer, Amex Platinum, the American Airlines City World Elite card. So there's about five or six or eight different cards that will give you a hundred dollar credit that lets you get a global entry for free. But beyond the application process, you have to go for an interview. Here's where it becomes a hassle because the next interview opportunity here in Phoenix at Sky Harbor is June 6th. They're almost six months out booking these. So check for cancellations on the website. The website's easy. If you search the phrase TTP schedule, TTP schedule, if you search that frequently, they'll, they'll come up with cancellations and you can get in earlier than June 6th. Uh, here, Tucson's booking out through May. If you'd like to drive down to the border, if your travels take you near Nogales or Douglas, uh, they have uh, interview appointments in the first or second week of February there. And if your travels take you out of state to visit family in maybe Salt Lake, Chicago or Seattle, you can get in in May or March. So just check around airports if you'd like to get global entry approved sooner than June 6th here in Phoenix. I can't believe they're booking six months out. As for the interview itself, it's it's not that exciting. They're just going to ask you why you're applying for global entry, where you work, what your job is, who employs you, and then they're going to issue ask you if you've ever been arrested and if you've ever had an issue with Customs and Border Patrol. I don't know anybody who's failed their interview. Uh, it's pretty simple and then you are good to go with global entry. So $100 fee, a bit of a wait for the interview, but then after that you're free and clear for five years. I think it's worth it if you do take one international trip a year, even if it's uh, Mexico or Canada, on the way back after that international flight, it makes things so much easier. Speaking of international flights, a lot of the latest deals are out there right now. They're on my Instagram story this morning. I posted a number of them. Europe still very, very inexpensive through March and into April. A bunch of deals posted right now on my Instagram stories. I'll see you guys next week.